It's the views from the vault, live and direct, and it slaps the finest to fit into community built on caps. Sponsored in part by the best in the business. No suggestions of fitted to classics and vintage. New era sickness, fire in the mix, it's ridiculous. It ain't no secret to the dopeness. If you're not focused, you left hopeless. Speaking the science of drops and what's tops. Pierre, Leon, Jason from the vault, bringing you nothing but hot. Best of the best, exclusives and clean vision. It's a distinct mission in the embroidered thread of a system. To bring you nothing but the real, just link and get with it. All keepers, no sleepers, no weepers, you know what it is. BP merch work the sequence first, bringing the work with the fits. It's the moment you've been waiting for. It's dubs and somersaults. Welcome to a whole nother level of fitted. It's views from the vault. Hey guys, welcome to the vault. We are back with some more exclusive content. Uh, Pierre and Leon here. Uh, we're joined by Andy and John uh, to preview something really cool. So I hope you guys enjoy. Uh, Pierre, take it away. Man, we got two of my favorite things. We got Still, and then we've got two great people from the hat community. Um, they're also uh, big time sneaker guys, as you can kind of see in their backgrounds. But um, I always love it when folks in the community get to collaborate with uh, with hat, hat stores that we love. And still is obviously one of those. And you guys are two uh, fantastic guys in the community. So um, I'm excited for this one. I'll tell you, man, there's always a special bond between a father and son. You know, I have a daughter as well, but um, and it's a great relationship. But the ones that you have with your sons are just uh, something special. You know, I think. Um, this special uh, release uh, from Still in Collaboration with the two of you, um, John and Andy, is, is pretty special to me because it connects with me in a really personal way. But also, um, these are some relationships in uh, Major League Baseball that are historic, um, which I think is, is another cool aspect of all of this. So what I'd like to do, if you guys are OK with it, we, we can pull up like the actual hats and kind of the inspiration be uh, behind those hats. And John and Andy, feel free to kind of chime in, share what these are about, sh share like the vision behind them and all those sorts of things, um, if you don't mind. Um, so we start here, right? Well, this is the the this is the Vlad Guerrero, right? Right. And um, just going on what you said, Pierre. You know, we wanted to do something, both being sneaker dads. You know, um, obviously, um, I have my podcast and the brand. Andy's been. And he's part of it now. He We've done a lot of things leading up to this hat, and he's been a great help, you know, and he has his own brand, and we, we do merch and gear and stuff like that. But, you know, we really were throwing back and forth ideas, kind of wishful thinking sort of about uh, doing a hat. And so one day mm -hmm. we would love to do a hat. And then Shaheen from Still mm -hmm. and the team there being from Toronto, we have a connection going back a bit uh, even before he was Still. And uh, he gave us this opportunity. So, yeah, the first one, I'll let Andy talk about it, but it kind of speaks for itself, the uh, father-son connection here. Yeah, being being in Toronto and, and in Canada in general, um, being like having such a historic duo uh, with Flatty Sr. and Jr. is just kind of kind of wrote itself. But uh, when we were coming with this concept, uh, we were, you know, thinking we wanted the hats to really – say the team uh but be able to mash the two together so um mm. with this particular one uh we went with the expos pinwheel just because it it screams expos and it's such an iconic hat but uh also blending it with the, the Strongbird logo which still really put on at the beginning and and i feel like it, it has a lot of roots with still also and such a proud logo on the front um but the whole the whole concept was to to, to have the you know, a, a logo from, you know, the, the son's team and then uh, the hat from the father's. Uh, with this particular hat, we chose the 20th anniversary side patch. Just kind of like an added bonus. Uh, Vladdy was 20 his rookie season, so it's just a, another way to to kind of make the design a little more special and then giving it the green UV to have that, you know, old school vibe to it. But mm. um, just a, a real cool way to to connect the uh, the father's son on a hat yeah and listen man it was a really cool way to kind of mix the montreal expos with the toronto blue jays i mean when you see that pinwheels uh uh canvas you kind of you, the first thing you think about is is the exp is the expos right yeah. i mean that's what you think about when you see that that hat and the green under is a really nice touch this is a fantastic hat yeah and watching your guys show and and other people who, who talk about storylines behind hats, you know, it's really exciting to me. And I know you guys and other people, when you look at a hat and you kind of see the story 
and you don't even yeah. have to told it. It's obviously nice to tell the story with you guys. And Andy's coming on my podcast this week. We're going to tell that story. But it's nice to see it and kind of figure it out on your own. And uh, Pinwheel, not for everyone, but um, we thought it was quintessential um, expos, and uh, we wanted it to be that way. No other way to go. Yeah, that- All right. All right, moving forward. All right, so tell us about this one. I, I, I'm, I'm sure it's very similar uh, thought process to the other, but in the opposite direction, right? Exactly. Exactly. Uh, this is actually the Jays alternate jerseys, the powder blues. Uh, you see Vladdy wearing in the top right card there. Um, now, with, with this one, uh, it, it wasn't necessarily the, you know, maybe not recognized as a Jays hat, but such great colors. And, and to be able to, to utilize a few extra colors that the Jays do have in their uniforms and being uh, one of their OTC hats. Same thing with the threads. The threads are uh, all original team colors f- through every hat. So just a cool way to implement um, each team colors with the uh, this one being the father's logo. Uh, really cool way to bring the two together. Uh, 35th year anniversary side patch. Vladdy Sr. was 36 when he retired, so another cool way to kind of connect the patch to um, to the duo. Um, super clean hat. They're, they're all uh, – we were kind of going for that original look with all of these. I feel like yeah, we hit on this one. Yeah, you did. You hit it on both of these hats. And I got to say, man, Vlad Guerrero uh, Sr. was uh, was one of my favorite players to watch. That that dude could hit a ball anywhere in the – inside, <laughs> yeah, exactly. outside the strike zone. If you bounce it up to the plate, It'll whatever do. it was, this guy had tremendous power. And I'll, also, like, the thing that I remember most about Vlad was his throwing arm. Yeah. Uh, yeah it was man. probably – that yeah, I mean, guys, Sammy Sosa young, in his younger days had a cannon as well, but Vlad, man, I mean, this dude, his arm was spectacular, um, and his uh, his son is on is on his way to a historic career as well. So, what a great way uh, to commemorate this father son relationship, uh, um, and and two really two two really amazing players, um, one that's a Hall of Famer and one that's heading there, right? Yeah, yeah, and we're really lucky, obviously, to. Um, to get, uh, I wanted to mention because, you know, timing of releases in, you know, the hat world and everywhere else in the world is, is really tough to time it. So we got really lucky. And again, thanks to the team at still for, for helping make it happen on time to the best of their their ability, because to have it in time for Father's Day, because it is a Father's Day collection, um, it's going to make it into people's hands, I think, uh, well in advance. So I, I wanted to mention that. And, and obviously, being the Canadian connection of still, we got we had to represent Toronto, Montreal. Everyone says Toronto Canadian people love the Expos and Jays, but I think as you're talking about and we see everywhere, you know these logos and these teams are are popular everywhere, right? Oh uh, yeah, the, the Expos is probably my second favorite uh, uh, logo to collect, but yeah, beyond the Red Sox logos. So um, just really, really fantastic job, guys. Uh, let's move on now. So we've got, so let's move out of Canada. And let's go over to the Bay. So we've got uh, everyone's favorite controversial uh, power hitter, Barry Bonds. And, of course, his father, Bobby Bonds, who had uh, deep connections to, like, they both had deep connections to Willie Mays and several other historic baseball players. But Mm -hmm. tell us a little bit about this one. So this particular design, uh, I don't want to say it was challenging, but with with, um, Barry being known for playing for the Giants, you, obviously, we couldn't just do a Giants Giants hat. Uh, Bobby, yeah. well known for being a Giant, also had some great years uh, with San Francisco. With this one, we went with uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates, where obviously Barry was. Uh, that's where his rookie uh, or his career started. Um, mm-hmm. With this particular one, I mean, he wore the, the the yellow and black when he played there, but um, wanted to kind of add more life to this design. And and the fun thing with this one is. The Pittsburgh Pirates were, I believe, one of the first teams to to use a different colored UV on their hat. And mm-hmm. in 99, they had an alternate jersey with that giant Pirates head on it. And uh, they wore a, a black top yellow brim with the red UV. So I thought it'd be and, and also the the uh, the Pittsburgh logo was red outlined. So I thought it'd be a mm-hmm. fun way to, to kind of play on the history of the hat and also um, being able to mash both teams up here. Um, gave it a, a real nice look, I feel. But uh, with the 50th on the side, 
both players played for the Giants in that timeline, um, 68 or 58 to, to 08. So it was a fun, mm-hmm. uh, a fun way to kind of get, uh, you know, little Easter eggs into the design, but uh, really create something different um, with using the original team colors as well. So uh, another fun one yeah. to try. Yeah, to pull so you guys did, yeah, you guys did a great job with this one as well. I mean, see, I'm an older guy like uh, like John is. I'm not sure your age, uh, Andy, but um, I'm, I'm certainly older. And uh, John and I probably really vividly remember Barry Bonds uh, as a pirate. So speed burner on the on the bases. I mean, the guy was an incredible, incredible athlete. Um, and, you know, his dad was no slouch either. So, like, he's a definitely overshadowed performance-wise by his son. I mean, almost the entire uh, history of baseball is. But he was um, – uh, Bobby Bonds was also an incredible, incredible player. Um, and you guys really nailed this, man. It's another great hook, another way to commemorate a, a great father and son duo in Major League Baseball. So, uh, an- thanks, thanks again, guys, for sharing this one. And we'll move on to the next one, which I think – is amazing. This one yeah, really this, is. this one. I'll I'll just say this one. Um, I wouldn't say it was the easiest, but this one was maybe the easiest for us to come to a consensus and agree on. the The bonds one was was tough because of the colors. We went back and forth. Uh, the pinwheel was a little bit difficult to pull the trigger on because pinwheels are what they are. And you know, mm-hmm. again, credit to the team; it's still for giving us creative freedom. They helped, but uh, you know, there are some divergences from their style a little bit. I think it's fair to say that we went a little bit out of the box. Not you know, they use lots of colors and things like that, but uh, but this was a little different. But this one, um, you know, when Andy, we'll talk about the specifics, but when. Um, when he uh, he came up with these ideas, I think uh, we all thought it was a winner from pretty much the get go. Obviously, the sneakers, yeah. the hats, the colors. Go ahead, Andy. Yeah, this one was my personal favorite. Not only because Griffey was so such a big player for me growing up, uh, fun guy to watch, but the colors are again like iconic to Seattle. But they're such great colors; they work so well together. And, and to sneak in some metallic thread. Uh, just like the the S logo on the Mariners hat and the little hits of red on the ball, just the same thing like the Mariners logo and that teal off off that dark navy is just it, it look it works so well together. I feel like um, with, with this particular logo, it's 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 a little bit louder and that was you know we were back and forth on that at first, but um, it, it's such a neat logo uh, and being able to get it raised, you know, the C raised as well is is a nice touch, but. Um, yeah, this this one was was my favorite off the hop with the teal UV, uh, the river the, the riverfront stadium final season side patch really allowed the the colors to work well in there and um, you know both both guys playing for the Reds also in the timeline uh, mm-hmm. of the side patch another you know, little added bonus to the to the choice of the patch but great colors together it was it's a safer mm-hmm. bet with the with the solid one tone hat. But uh, th- this was my my hands down favorite, and I <clears throat> and I'm from Canada, so you know I, I, the safe answer would be Montreal or Toronto. But I was really happy with how this turned out. Again, you know, grateful for for still for letting us have this opportunity because yeah, yeah, I was proud of this one to say that. Yeah, my, my generation's favorite baseball player probably is Ken Griffey Jr. I mean, you know, had he not had those uh, those knee injuries, he probably would have uh, slugged uh, 750 home runs. I mean, the guy was just insane. And, you know, he played the game right, I think. Uh, and, and that has a lot to do with that father-son relationship in this specific scenario, right? I mean, he played the game right. Sure. I mean, he, he, would, he would get called out for being a little bit of a showboat from time to time with some of the stuff he would do. But he brought a different sort of energy to baseball, and baseball needed it at the time uh, with his hat backwards and, like, blowing the bubbles and, and jumping off the and you yeah. know, kind of climbing up the wall. I mean, the guy was just insane. He was incredibly talented, but also a breath of fresh air in a very traditional uh, sort of focused sport. Um, yeah, and you guys nailed this one too, man. I mean, uh, Griffey is Griffey's incredible, both him and his father, um, uh, but specifically Ken Griffey Jr., man, amazing. And this hat came out great, guys. I, I can't – I, I got to tell you, it's a toss-up for me. I have a hard time picking between this one and the pinwheel, uh, but – you know, I don't have to make a choice. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna get them all somehow. So I don't have to make a choice. So, um, all right. A so listen, why don't we do, 
Go ahead. We were Go ahead. we actually uh, kind of uh, adding on to what you were saying about the flare of Griffey. We we tried to make the teeth silver on on the the Mister Red Sox there or whatever mm. the a red leg yeah. logo. Yeah. And uh, Nera yeah. shot that down, but uh, we thought it'd be a fun, you know, Paul Ball uh, logo yeah. there if we could get a grill on him. But just to kind of add on to Griffey's flair, but that that didn't fly. So, but again, yeah. ha happy with how it turned out. Nah, it turned out really well. You guys did a great job. So, um, I I'm gonna um, hand it over to Leon a little bit, and Leon's Leon's gonna kind of um, uh, kind of help guide you guys through showing these things in hand. Right. So we've got the, you guys have these in hand. So yeah. I'm excited to show everybody these things. So Leon, if you don't mind taking over, that'd be fantastic. Yeah. So, um, we're going to, we're going to let John kind of show them off piece by piece. Right. So yeah. the first one, um, which one are you going to show? Yeah. So we got the Toronto strong bird with the Montreal mm -hmm. pinwheel 20th anniversary. Um, this one goes so good. Anyone who, knows anything about um, Expos hats, that's their signature look. So I think you guys really killed it with this one. Yeah, Andy, maybe you want to talk a little bit about, well, you already did, but uh, but uh, this combo, I guess we were hoping for, right? And we got it. Yeah, the 20th, uh, the, the 20th side patch was actually uh, shot down at first when we submitted the design. Uh, they were trying to to say we could only use the all-star game, the Chicago all-star game side patch. Uh, I'm very happy that they let 20 go because uh, I feel suits the hat. Uh, I know it's a that's Chicago. That's Chicago cross, all-star you know, game would have been a dud. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I know the era of logos is off. Some people are sticklers for that, but like uh, tying in to, to Vladdy being, 20 for his rookie syndic patch. Uh, I, I feel it was proper for the hat. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so moving yeah, on. Really happy with how it turned out. The next one. It's the one I'm wearing on my head. I think we're doing next expos. Yeah. Yeah. So this is the Blue Jays Alt 4. Um, done um, the Blue Jay hat with the Montreal Expos. Uh, logos. This one's really cool. Uh, fun fact: uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. born in Montreal, so he does have Canadian citizenship. So it's cool that he. Uh, uh, this is kind of the era that he's ushering in now with the new powder blue uh, jerseys. Um, so this one's a real cool. I think this one checks off all the boxes. Very beautiful hat. Yeah, oh, I love this hat too. This one uh, inspired me to go buy a Vlad, uh, a Vlad Senior jersey. So I got like a Nike Vlad Senior replica jersey that's Ooh, nice. waiting to wear with this. Nice. Oh, yeah, you guys killed this one. Yeah, real nice. Yeah. All right. I feel like we, you know, there's always you never know when you when you buy a hat or when. Well, this is our first designs, but you know, I guess we got lucky. Things turned out, and Shaheen and the team. It's still really, you know. Let us let us double triple check that everything was what we wanted, and uh, you know they make great products, so obviously they know all about that. But uh, yeah, really Definitely. happy. All right, moving forward, hat number three. Going back to Bay Area with the Barry and Bobby Bonds. Yes, good. Yeah, as Andy mentioned earlier. The Pirates were, I think, the first and only team to ever use a red bottom hat on field. Really cool Easter egg there. It's got that red outline, too. Mm -hmm. Ooh, give me I know you're not a big fan of the interlocking SF, Leon, but I uh, I feel with, with that outline, it kind of adds a little more life to it. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, it's a great hat. It checks a lot of boxes. Yeah, and, you know, we also wanted to mix it up a little bit and, and offer something for everyone. Obviously, not everyone likes pinwheels. Mm -hmm. Not everyone loves two-tones. I mean, two-tones are a thing now, but, uh, you know, we wanted to mix it up and uh, to offer a little bit of everything in this and, uh, you know, again, still allowed us to offer something for everyone. So, right. yeah, it's good, man. And then last but not least, we got the Griffies. 
uh, from they're from Cincinnati, Ohio, if I'm not mistaken. They both ended up playing there uh, with the Seattle uh, colors. Um, one of the only pairs, I think, that got to play on field at the same time, which is kind of crazy in itself. Ken Griffey, junior and senior, yeah. playing together. Kind awesome of speaks, speaks to the longevity of his father. Yeah, for sure. And Griffey this entered the league at um, – Griffey entered the league at 19 years old, so which is a feat in itself, right? <laughs> and he wasn't he was no slouch at 19 years old, which is pretty yeah. insane. Yeah. Yeah. Andy, you were gonna say this something? Was, that? Um, yeah, sorry guys. I'm lagging a bit. Uh this collection is also gonna include um a pager blip uh with it. It's got the glow in the dark. I get it focus here. I don't know if I can get it in or, or not, but that's yeah, cool. a little still uh, pager, old man, dad pager, hmm. nice. flip, which is a cool little uh, add-on. Nice change. Yeah. Pins are nice. It's cool that My they're still allowing us to offer something a little different. Sorry, Andy, I was interrupting. My son doesn't know what a pager is, but people of our net generation, <laughs> maybe that's yeah. a better angle. You can see it says still in the kind of old school kind of pager font when you would write. Nice. Oh, yeah. And uh, cool film, man. and uh, so something different, too. Again, Andy Andy, and still get the credit for this one. This was his idea. Of, and um, just something different to throw back to the dads and the um, that era of... <laughs> Of uh, lost communication. It's glow in the dark, also. Nice. Nah, this, this is, is really great cool. stuff, guys. Listen, I can't, I can't express enough about uh, how cool these things are. Um, I love the inspiration. I love the, I love the theme that you chose. I love the final product. Um, I mean, for me, it's all about that pinwheel and that Griffey. But I mean, I like all four. I want to be clear. But those are the two, man. Those are the, those are the must cops. If you're asking me. Um, so listen, I don't know, Leon. What were your thoughts? What were your two favorites? Uh, for me, Montreal and and the uh, Griffey. Which so, Montreal? Uh, the one that John's oh, Montreal. Wearing. Montreal. Yeah. Uh, Montreal. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. The Griffey. That's Pinwheel's that. no slouch either, but I, I think the Montreal one is just a little bit more current. It it speaks to the current era that we're in, so uh, I like it a little bit better. But yeah, they're all they're all really good. Yeah, and I should also. It's mention... tough to find that hat that without. Uh, without the on-field black UV, also. Oh yeah, like you, yeah. Finding one of those new Jays hats with a gray UV is <laughs> is a tough dig now. So mm -hmm. it was a fun way to get our own. <laughs> something you create, something you wanted. Yeah. Absolutely. Listen. Yeah. Yeah. Listen, guys. I really want to thank you for the time. I want you to. I want to thank you for allowing us the opportunity to preview uh, these with you. We appreciate that very much. We want to thank Still as well for the for the opportunity. Um, and, and, and again, uh, we love it. We love this stuff. So, uh, Leon, with that, big fella, take us away. Yeah, let us know in the comments real quick uh, which of these four hats are your favorite. Uh, keep an eye out on Still uh, for release info. Um, they'll be uh, dropping that really, really soon. But until next time, uh, we're signing out, guys. Stay fitted. See you, everybody. Peace. Enjoy 15% off all products with the code VFTV15. Brought to you by VFTV.